Hello Internet and welcome to CodeBig. In this video, I would like to take you through an article I read recently on Medium about developing open source projects by Martin Grutendorst. Since many of you plan on contributing to open source but don't know where to start, I would like to shed some light on that topic by pointing you in the right direction. So without wasting any time, let's get started. As the article states, developing open source is more than just coding. Often, we think that adding a new feature or fixing an open bug is the only way to contribute to an open source project. This idea is fundamentally wrong because you are not developing a product for yourself or an organization you represent. You are building a product for the community. So, coding becomes one of the way to contribute and not the only way to contribute to an open source project. This brings me to the first point. Documentation is underrated. One of the major problems I have noticed recently is that most open source projects either have an outdated documentation or documentation that is hard to consume. This forces the community to create open issues and a lot of time is spent in addressing these issues. The easiest way to kickstart your open source journey is by contributing to a project's documentation. As the article states, writing a good documentation is a skill in itself. So, if you are currently using any open source project, take it up as a challenge to keep the documentation up to date. By doing so, you are contributing more to the community than you could ever contribute by coding things out. Finally, if you are skilled enough in writing a good documentation, there are chances you might end up getting a job as a support engineer or as a developer advocate. The next point I want to stress is that community is everything. Often, I have seen bug fixes and feature requests from community members that satisfy their specific need and offer no benefits to the overall user base. As the article states, the open source community is truly more than the sum of its parts. This means you are entitled to help a fellow member when they are stuck on an issue. The easiest way to contribute to an open source is by actively helping the community members. It hardly takes a couple of minutes to look at a problem that a fellow community member is stuck on and to replicate the same in your local. Analyzing and giving timely feedback helps prioritize the bug, which leads to rapid development of the project. Next, I would like to point out that open source contribution provides a great learning opportunity. The informal way of contributing to open source is by teaching the ins and outs of a project. This makes sure the community has substantial material to rely back on. Finally, I would like to end this video by providing two pieces of advice for anyone who wants to start their own open source project. First, working on your project outside works come with its own downfall, like maintaining the package, answering questions and participating in discussions. This can be daunting, so reach out to the community for help. The second and the most important one is that GitHub stars do not equal quality. GitHub stars are nothing more than a user giving a star to a package. It does not mean that they have used the software. So, using GitHub stars as a metric is wrong and should be avoided. Instead, focus on statistics like downloads or forks and the number of open and closed issues. This indicates how often people are contributing to the project and would help you make a better decision. That's it for this video guys. Don't forget to read this article. I have left a link to the article in the description below. See you in the next video. Happy coding until then.